This blew my mind. Dan, uh, welcome back uh, to Pretty Average Astro. In uh, this video, I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, uh, is image with my Evo Guide 50ED. Um, and pretty much I want to see uh, if I can turn it into a uh, poor man's Red Cap 51. Um, I bought the Starazona uh, reducer for this, which allows you to use that up to a APS uh, C sensor. Um, and but for for this experiment, I'm going to use my five three three MC Pro. Um, yeah, I I think it's uh, pretty cool. Um, and if it goes well, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have much of a use um, for my DSLR um, anymore. If I can get uh, a really wide view uh, with this setup. Um, I'm just using a UV slash um, IR cut filter, so I'm not doing narrow band. Um, I'm in a, about a, a bottle four-ish um, area, so I'm pretty lucky I'm on the edge um, edge of the town. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to image uh, the, is it the witch's hat, wizard's hat, witch's hat, head nebula uh, or something. Um, and I'm going to see what M83 uh, Southern Pinwell Galaxy uh, looks like. A um, uh, little bit wide um, set up for, for the Galaxy, but I think it will still work pretty well with the cropped in uh, sensor. And also one of the subscribers have been asking um, how the Evo Lux uh, 82 uh, ED goes uh, with visual astronomy. So I'm going to um, give that a, a decent go tonight um because uh, when they did comment uh it might have been a few weeks ago now i just haven't had a chance uh to test it out um so i'll do that tonight as well but um yep skies uh, are clear and it's starting to get dark um and yeah hopefully everything goes well That's a good sign. The little Jew heater looks like it worked really well, even though it's for my main scope. Wrapped around really nice. Um, yeah, looking good so far. Not sure if you can tell, uh, but I've got a massive uh, grin on my face. Um, as you all know, in this hobby, um, there's a lot of trial and error um, and a lot of wasted hours, um, but sometimes things just work out uh, really well. And I'm gobsmacked with the results um, from the 50ED um, and the 533. I can't actually believe um that the pictures i took came from that smaller scope um and it's maybe pretty much question uh all my equipment um yeah uh so i guess um i'll show you the results um uh but first i'll have a quick read of pretty much what the the setups were because i do want to compare um uh, between my last uh, shot with the Canon and the Evo Lux. So on the left hand side the main advantages are going to be a larger aperture, longer guided exposures and a full set of calibration frames, where on the right hand side we've got a dedicated astro sensor at minus 10 degrees. I also want to say that that thing wasn't balanced uh, either. Um, to balance it I would have to de-rig uh, a lot of other things and I couldn't be bothered so I did a decent polar alignment um, so that was all good uh, but other than that it was unbalanced uh, just doing 60 seconds 
Uh, so we'll get into the images. Alrighty. Uh, so I've loaded them uh, into Pix Insight. Um, kind of, uh, I've read them kind of best till last uh, is how I've sorted them out. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the Canon Pleiades. Um, so that's although it's very dark, that's pretty much the best I could uh, get it to look. Um, and then I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, so I just didn't get enough time. Uh, so I had an hour and 20 minutes with the Canon, two minute exposures. And now with the Evo Guide 50ED and the 533, uh, we had only 30 minutes, 60 second unguided exposures. And that is much better. <laughs> um, a lot more data was picked up um, in that short uh, amount of time, actually. I did uh, edit um, all these, but I don't think I did noise exterminator for this one. Um, so I'll just quickly do that. Holy shit balls. Uh, that's even better than what it was before. Like now I'm even more happier. Uh, yeah, that's uh, incredible. Um, I think anyway. Um, I actually didn't think I took that good of a photo because of all the noise. Um, yeah, well, there you go. Uh, little in video surprise for us there. Um, cool. Stoked. That looks good. I'm happy. Um, so I'll just collapse these. Um, yeah, this this also actually everything's just going to blow my mind. So I apologise. Um, yeah, so here's I just couldn't get anything. Like the witch head is pretty sure it's meant to be over here, or I don't know where it is. Um, it's not there. I couldn't get the data out, um, even though that was six hours. Was it six hours? And it was only three hours. What did I say here? Uh, sorry, just take a look through my uh, editing. Three hours. Where did I get six hours from? Sorry. Alrighty. Yep, so three hours um, versus oh, 4.3. So I got an extra hour. Um, with the 533 and man, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so by looking at it, these two stars are up here. So really the witch head is all through here and I just couldn't get it with the, with the cannon. But look at that, I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger. I'll do a fancy slide thing at the end, but it's just so clean, like the colors are beautiful. Um, and I'm in Bordel 4, I didn't use, so uh, it was just the IR cut. There's no light pollution filter and the background extractors worked fine. Um, yeah, really, really happy. Even though I've seen some really impressive images um, on this uh, target, um, mine doesn't come close to a lot of them, but really, really happy. That looks really cool. I'm really happy that I got that. Um, now, this blew my mind. Uh, M83, I, I knew I'd be able to take a picture of a galaxy, um, but at f 4.8 and 50 millimeters, uh, I just didn't expect uh, to have a good photo. Now, I was impressed. The Canon, we zoom in here. Yeah, it's a bit noisy. Um, so I've got four and a half hours on the Canon, five and a half um, on the 533. Yeah, so I was pretty happy with the Canon. That's probably one of the best shots I've taken of a galaxy. And here we go, man. This is really nice. It's, look at that. That's, that's cool. That's it's a galaxy, man. Um, uh, yeah, I'm 
Brian not to swear. Um, I'm really, really blown away. Um, I, yeah, this one was just shock and awe. Uh, I'm really, really happy that I did this experiment. Um, and I'm not sure how long my cannons are going to last. Um, after this because I was keeping it for wide field but I think the 533 just pairs so well even with the 82 when it's got the Evolux uh, sorry the Star Zona 0.65 I can't remember I think it's like f4.2 um, at 80 mil so I'd be really interested to now do um, M83 um with just the 533 on the Evo Lux now to see if I can get a bit more resolution. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so I'm not sure if I even mentioned I used the Star Arizona Flattener for the 50ED. Um, and what that has over the Skywatcher Flattener, uh, Skywatcher only gives you 17.5 millimeter um, back focus. So you don't really have any options the filters, um, you have to kind of be pretty creative. Um, whereas the Star Arizona has a standard 55 mil back focus, so it's a lot more user friendly, a lot more easier, and a lot more compatible. Yeah, so I oh know if you've got a Red Cat 51, is this pretty good? Uh, what I've done, because um, I can't remember how much that was, but it was maybe 280 bucks Australian. I think I got it for where I think the red cat second or red cat hovers around the 1500 uh, mark. Um, yeah, just bang for buck, man. It's mental. Um, like if I took that photo just with my normal telescope, I would have been stoked. Um, but now that I've seen this, yeah, it's just made me question everything. Yeah. So if, if you're on a budget um, and you weren't too sure, you know, what to get and you didn't want to get second hand, um, the Skywatcher um, Star Adventurer GTI paired with the little Evo Lux and the little 533 would be amazing. I know they make um, uh, 3D printed clamps so you can add, add a guide scope onto the Evo guide so you could even do guiding, but, you know, these are 60 second unguided um yeah i'm just really stoked with how that turned out with all the different parameters that we had um so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this because i really um enjoyed doing it um but if you have any questions um if i've left stuff out um because i've been so excited let me know but yeah i'll update you guys soon um with what I decide to do uh, with the Canon. Um, but for now, I'll leave you with a um, pretty video of these uh, images up close. Uh, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you soon. Almost forgot. How could I forget the visual fans? Um, so I'm not hard to please when it comes to visual. So I'm pretty much in awe every single time I look through um, my refractor anyway. Um, but I used a 40 mil eyepiece for wide view, uh, a beta uh, Mark IV zoom with a two and a half times bilo. Um, so I looked at uh, easily could solve double stars like Acrux, uh, Alpha Centauri, um, Orion Nebula, I could still see all the dust lanes and, and everything looks pretty incredible, even out of the 82 millimeter. I uh, looked at the Pleiades um, and even M83, the Pinwheel Galaxy, it's only a smudge 
like it always is, but it's still there. And yeah, I'm just a bit of a refractor uh, fiend. So um, yeah, I really love the, the contrast and sharpness it gives me. Um, so yeah, does everything I want.